Explorers and welcome back to another video. Today we are in Barcelona. We are. And look where we are. This is our hostel, right? But we're actually on the main street, La Ramblas. Um, we're staying in a little hostel, but it's a private hostel room. So that's a good way to save money. Don't stay in a hotel, a stay in a private view, hostel room. It's, better it's actually amazing. Are you really happy to be here? I'm very happy. Only thing is, is it might be noisy in our hotel room, hostel room. <laughs> that means we're just gonna have to drink lots and we fall asleep. Look at this though. It. Oh my gosh. It actually is amazing. You know what the best thing is? I can smell donuts. There's a smell uh, of donuts in the air. I smell donuts as well. <laughs> so we're really, really excited to start exploring. It's already 4 p.m. We just arrived and we're gonna go straight out for like a late lunch slash dinner and just feast on loads of stuff. So I'm gonna be making a couple of vlogs while I'm here just so I can remember it and also because I know that you love my travel vlogs. But I'm just so excited to chill out. This is our first holiday since last July when we went to Brighton because we've just been so busy with moving country, changing hey. jobs and all of that. We went on holiday to Dresden after that. Oh yeah, well, uh, that was a one day trip. That doesn't count as a holiday. No. So that's the balcony, which you've already seen. Now I'm gonna show you a hostel room. So this place is, what, like 30 euro each a night. So it's right in the center. There's no way you'd be able to get like a fancier place for that cheap. But this is what we're oh, working right. with here. So. Yeah. We've got two big beds, which is great because when Jamie's annoying me, I can pull us apart from each other. To be honest with you, that actually is kind of nice. It also means we're going to find over to do, right? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and nice tall ceilings, yeah, balcony that, out there. It's actually quite large. So yeah, and then yeah, there's well, a wee this like private cool. toilet room and a shower. So it's pretty good for a hostel, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you could spend more money in. You'd just be spending money that you could be spending on other fun things. On beer. You could be buying beer On that and note, snacks. let's go get burgers and beer right now. Oh, I'm so hungry for burgers and beer. <laughs> Let me get my coat because it is Barcelona, but it's still not actually that No, it's 16 degrees. Yeah, 16 degrees though for Belfast is tropical. The thing about this hostel is it's inside a shop. Yeah. I'll have to show them. Let's go. That means if I need to get snacks. I think it's a souvenir shop. Okay. I'm sure you sell drinks. Probably. See, it's inside a shop, Jamie. How hilarious. <laughs> uh, so we've come into the market because it's right beside our hostel. It's bunged in here, but it's so cool. Like there's so much exotic fruit and chilies. And I've just spotted the coolest, like, it looks like a slush popping machine or something. I think you need to turn the camera on because they have a giant bottle of your favorite hot sauce, Valentina. <gasps> oh my gosh, I've never seen a giant bottle of this before. We have arrived at Veggie Garden. Well, nearly, it's like around the corner. I'm so excited. Hunger has just hit me all of a sudden. I think it was going into that market and like seeing all the fruit and all because it just made me really hungry. We're like two seconds away from Burger Time, Burger Time. So much stuff, how are you supposed to choose? Like there literally is so much to choose from. <gasps> Oven roasted tofu with satay and Japanese sauce. just finished dinner it was absolutely amazing wasn't it's it so Jamie good. it was so, so good I'm so full and then we were just walking along trying to find a bar it's still quite early though it's the next six it's and we came across place. Chalk which is this little place that does donuts and cupcakes and all of that and our friend Evelyn had told us like she's been following them on Instagram for a while she was like you have to go to Chalk so we went in and they had 
loads of vegan stuff like like good, half the table half the table was vegan let's show which one we got they did have massive donuts which were 6.90 and they looked insane like you saw them in the clip but 6.90 and also we're not even hungry so i don't think we could physically eat that but look at this lovely cupcake we this got. wee one was only 2.90 like, it looks like a red velvet kind of cake it looks amazing there's even a chocolate base on it i mean wow on. how can you say no to that? That's actually Which, really cheap though, isn't it? Like 2 dollars for that. It's big. It's really big. Okay, so I tried to half it and I've made such a mess. I also think the top bit on top is like fresh cream. I think you did a good job halving it until you decided oh to like God. rub some of your cream off for some reason. Don't drop it. Do you want to take some of that back because you're taking loads? No, because the bit in the middle is a different type of cream than the is bit it? on the top. Oh, yeah, I that's why that. I wanted to share it. Oh, well, fair enough. That is so good. That's so I know I'm nice. making a mess of myself, but. It's like uh, lemony and vanilla. I just tried like a little bit of the cream off the top. It's really good. If you can't eat cake There's when like you're on the holiday, when can you eat cake, on Jamie? Glad well. you look like you're having so much fun. walking around for ages now and we really want to find a bar but every bar that we come across is an Irish pub like no joke we've been like it's five kind of, of them we there's two right beside each other right so there's one right there this one here but my bar and then through here there's one as well and back there like only about five doors down is another one the thing that was really frustrating about this place was Colette pointed it out was like oh look there's a bar it's not an Irish bar it's my pub or something and I looked it's at it my bar but it says Irish bar in small writing in yeah, the and if you actually look underneath the sign, yeah, it's that like an Irish bar. What is this? I think Why if we want a good thing? pint, we should just go and get them in the Irish bar. They actually do look very, very welcoming. They look much nicer than Irish bars in Ireland. That's the thing that's so strange about it. They look welcoming. You know, no one's fighting or anything. Hmm. The hunt continues, Jamie Doyle. <laughs> right. No joke. That's my bar. We walk right here. And that's another Irish bar. The Temple Bar, the temple bar this is of the Barcelona bar. in Dublin. <laughs> I actually want to go in. I've never been to the real Temple Bar. You would want to, it's shy. So I'm finally feeling like I'm like settling in now. Whenever we first arrived, well, like I feel like anytime you go on holidays, you're always like thrown in somewhere new and you're like, oh my god, I am um, just not having a clue what's going on. You always feel a little disoriented. Yeah, first. and it was so busy and we had the backpack and we were just like, oh my gosh, like I just want to sit down, feeling overwhelmed, but now I'm feeling really, really good. I think I just get anxious about new places, like, but then after an hour or two, I'm like, Oh, it's like I've lived here my whole life and I'm having fun. <laughs> so tomorrow we're gonna go for the beach. For the beach? Oh. To the beach. We're gonna go to the beach. It's meant to be 21 degrees tomorrow as well, so that's gonna be oh, fun. Because nice. today was kind of overcast, but we didn't care because I kind of wanted that. Because it's just like easing you into it. <laughs> what is it? 10 out of 10? What's that again? What's that mean? 10 out of 10? It's okay. Ugh. So good morning everyone. Welcome to day two of our Barcelona trip. Last night after we had that one pint, we came back to the apartment and I kind of just fell asleep for the rest of the night. I was feeling really, really tired. Um, from just like the change of scene and the flight and all of that. So today I'm ready for action. I've had so much sleep. I'm gonna have the best day ever because a lot of sleep means energized and excited. And are you ready for the day, Jamie Doyle? Very ready, yeah. Very good. ready. We're gonna go for breakfast first and then we're gonna head to the beach and the harbor and maybe hit up one of the parks as well and just walk around. Everything's in walking distance. Like we can get to the beach in like a 30 minute walk. So we don't actually use public transport when we're on holidays, like if we don't need to, unless we want them are really far away. Cause you just get to see so many cool things along the way that I think you would miss out on if you didn't walk. So anyway, let's get going. Jamie, it feels like we're inside a maze, doesn't it? Yeah. It's actually so cool. I don't think you can tell on this how narrow the road is, 
but it honestly is just <laughs> it's like being inside a maze whoa <laughs> So we found the place, it's called Veg Italia and it's where we're going for breakfast because it's, it's the only one really that's open at like 11am. Veg Italia. Veg Veg Italia. finished our food and it was actually so good I didn't even film very much of it because we were just really hungry but we're like it looked small eating. mine looked really small but it had like um, quinoa sweet potatoes avocado this coconut dressing and uh, what else did it have it had sprouts it had what else um, avocado Kale. I said I've got it. Oh kale, like oven roasted Cashews, kale. Uh, and then I had loads of bread. Jamie got this like amazing cauliflower. Um I got two tacos. things actually. I got cauliflower tacos with black bean mole and guacamole. And I also got a uh, tofu burger. It was less than like a soya burger on the menu, but it was more like a, it seemed more like a sort of crumbled up tofu fried into like a burger patty. But it wasn't served in a burger bun, you know, it was served um just a patty with salad and stuff. It was amazing. It, I don't think it looked as good as it tasted. It just was like a higher end, really, really, really well flavored food. Like yeah. really well spiced. So I would recommend that. Maybe don't go for lunch, go at like night time and you'll get all dressed Although, up and everything. If you go during the day, they have set menu for lunch, which is what I got. So you can get like the Yeah, and stuff. so anyway, we're now at the harbor and we're gonna have a little explore and then we're gonna go to the beach. That we were going to the harbor and the beach first but we kind of kept walking and now we're at the park but it was on our to-do list for today so we're just gonna do it first oh my god there's massive lorry coming ah! look this is what i'm currently doing leaning against this so i don't get squished to death but anyway yeah we're in the park now park Sita. i don't know how you pronounce it it's Sita duella Sita duella duella Jamie, how do you pronounce the name of this park? Is this Sita Dwaya? You're asking the wrong guy. I don't know, but we're here anyway, and I'm gonna show you around. It's really, really sunny. It's like 21 degrees right now, which is really, really hot for us because we're pale. <laughs> Vegans, all you need is fruit ice cream. Amazing! Chocolate, oh my god, pistachio, my favorite. Spicy, is it ugly? Yes, mine. <laughs> I want to like sunbathe. It's actually quite breezy though. It's nice. It's not too hot and it's packed. Like it's so busy, isn't it? The good thing is about having a breeze on the beach, Colin. You can still get sunburned. But you feel yeah. And I'm actually really surprised how busy it is though because it's a Tuesday and it's in what month are we in now? April. April. Yeah. Colin, I think we're starting to hammer on. Look down there. That big giant shiny thing. There's a big giant shiny thing. What, what direction do you want to walk, Jamie? You kind of want to walk to the right. 
toward the W Hotel? Yeah. That's where we're going to stay tonight. No, it's not. We're staying in a shitty little hostel with with bad paint job and no hot water. <laughs> right, let's go. So did you, Jamie, I think? Yeah. We have to look a wee bit burnt, rosy red. Um, and now we're gonna go for dinner and nothing else, really. We're really taking it easy on this holiday just because we wanted a big relax with loads of food, loads of sun, loads of drink. Um, that's basically it. That's how to have a good time with Clint and Jamie, just eat and drink loads of stuff. So where are we going? Barcelona, isn't it called? We could either go there or we could go to Cat Bar or... Side, There's so, places. so many vegan options here in Barcelona, like it's crazy. I know the beach is called Barcelona Beach, isn't it? Yeah. But there's actually this place called Bar Senaleta. <laughs> so that's really cool. It's like a play on the word. Um, so I think we're gonna go there though, because I wanna go to Cat Bar tomorrow. I think we should go to Bar Senaleta and get some tapas. So we've actually okay. got the tapas type stuff yet. Yeah, let's go. So they have like vegan seafood type stuff, I think. We just came out of the restaurant the food was so good but again same as like earlier we went to like a fancy place where i really think it was expensive for the size of food it was like it was delicious but you know but we're gonna go now to a bar and chill out and you'll have to stay tuned for part two because it's coming tomorrow we've still got two full days left one night no two nights left um two days left um so i'll see you in the next vlog don't forget to subscribe stay tuned and give this video a thumbs up and let me know have you been to barcelona and did you like this video bye, bye. say bye nicely bye say bye nicer even nicer than not bye. that was perfect <laughs> Inside your face. Nice. That was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs>